Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kama. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Today I am celebrating my first 1000 views on this channel. Now this channel, Kama Audacity, is one of the six channels that I operate and it has been up and going for two weeks now and already I've posted 21 videos and today I had 1000 views so I'm celebrating and I hope you'll celebrate with me and help me to continue to grow my channel please subscribe now today I'm going to talk about my daily routine and this is something that persons have been asking me about a lot for years and years because you know I just I do so much in such little time and you know persons always want to know how do you do it you know how do you do it I operate a full day school the name of my school is the Kemet Masai Academy and it's located in Greater Portmore St. Catherine Jamaica so a full day school I I'm an author of 28 books so far with many more to come out and those 28 books 26 of them were published just within the past six years so you do the math how many each year and there are four books to come out before the end of this year so there's a school there's a writing I train I do karate although I haven't trained since the lockdown um, but I do go to the, the field every morning to do my laps and um, someone said to me the other day <laughs> someone said to me the other day you know you're, you're the Facebook queen you're always on Facebook but you know I had to remind them yes I'm always on Facebook but I, I find the time to do so much I, the things that I do in a day or in a week, many persons don't do in a month. So, and I still manage to get my groove on, right? To get my groove on. So, I'm going to share with you how I do all of this. Now, I have the same 24 hours in my day as anybody else. But I stretch them. That's how I look at it. I stretch my hours so I get I try to get much more out of my 24 and how I stretch them mainly is by multitasking now multitasking is a skill I think women we are more wired for multitasking than men maybe because we have had to to manage the children and the house and you know um, in an evolutionary sense but everybody can learn how to multitask it just depends on you know you just have to be dedicated to your mission whatever you have to accomplish and make a plan and i'm going to tell you further about making the plan as we go along now my day typically starts at about 3 30 a.m i'm an early riser i've always been so since I was a little girl, I'm going to school. My grandfather would have to wake us up at about 4 a.m. because where I lived, you know, in order to get the bus to school, you have to rise that, that time. So it, it has just become a part of me. I get up at 3.30 a.m. And what I'll do then is to start my meditation. So... At 3.30, I'll put up my vision board. I have two vision boards. I'll put them out. And I start my meditation by looking at the vision board, looking at the images on the vision board, getting those, is it the, the visualization aspect of it, looking at the, the pictures, looking at my goals, looking at the things that I want to accomplish and the things that mean a lot to me in my life that I would want to maintain. Because the vision board is not just about new things that you want to accomplish. It includes things that you have already accomplished that you would like to maintain. So I have two vision boards. I'll spend some time just looking at the, the pictures 
and then I will start my affirmation. Now this affirmation is a paragraph that I wrote. It's well over 15 years old, that affirmation. Um, so the affirmation includes your, your foundational, you know, your beliefs, your goals, your long-term goals, and pretty much it just sums up who you are and what you're about in life, right? And what you want to accomplish. So that affirmation, I say it seven times, you know, because I remember reading several places that when a thought is repeated seven times, seven is the magic number for it to be embedded. So I repeat the affirmation seven times. I sing particular songs. So I will sing two songs in the morning before I, I do my affirmation. And two different songs for my afternoon affirmation and different songs for my evening affirmation. Now these are songs that mean a lot to me and they put me in a meditative mood. So I'll sing those, do the affirmation seven times. And then when I open my eyes again, I'll go through another visualization using the vision board. So I'll look at it again, look at the images. You know, all of this is training my mind, focusing on what I want to accomplish, right? So that's the visualization process is very, very important. Now, at four, you know, I like to rise early because most persons are asleep at that time. You know, 3.30, most persons are asleep. The place is quiet. It's the perfect time to start your morning meditation, to greet the dawn, greet the new day, you know, just get your vibes, get yourself ready because you don't know what the day is going to bring and you want to be able to face it. Now, so at 4.30, 4 sorry, at 4, I would wake my children. Now, I have two children who are still at school, still at um, high school. So I, I homeschool my children up to 12 and then they go on to high school. So I would get them ready for school. So at this time, while they're, you know, showering and whatever, if I have to iron, I'll do some quick ironing. I tend to iron every day. I don't think I should. I should probably just set aside a day for ironing, but I, I iron every day. <laughs> so I'll do some quick ironing. And then I would make my fruit juices or my nut milk or my sea moss at that time with my Nutribullet, my baby Nutribullet. And... Um, you know just get them ready and while i'm doing that i will be listening to my favorite audiobooks and <clears throat> it will be one of three well my favorite favorite audiobook is as a man thinker by james allen i listen to that all the way it, it the one that i listen to is about an hour and i listen to that every almost every day or one of my other top favorite books, The Master Key System by Charles Hainel, or I listen to my guru, my beloved Sadhguru, for about an hour or so. While I'm preparing stuff in the kitchen, it will be plain, and I'm listening to that. And then I'll take my children out, you know, to get the school bus. So by about 5.30, I go out to do my laps. Now this usually takes me 45 minutes to an hour, depending on, depending on, cause sometimes I'm fasting and so it will be a little slower. I still do my laps when I'm fasting. Sometimes I do the 10 laps just walking. Sometimes I alternate walking and jogging. So it, it depends between 45 minutes to one hour. At this time also I'll be chewing my neem leaves so in Portmore, we have tons of neem trees and neem is a very good herb for you to have. So I will do that every day. And then after a while, I'll like take a month off or two months off and go back to eating my neem leaves. So while I'm jogging, 
I will listen to another affirmation which I wrote and recorded. So while I'm doing my laps, I'm playing that affirmation. See, I have these thoughts going through my head all the time. You have to be flooding your head with positive vibes, positive, my own voice, ribbing these things into my head. What are my goals? What should I focus on? Right, and it calms me. So while I'm going around, I'm listening to it. Now, this particular affirmation takes about three minutes. So, you know, when it's stopped, I'll just start it over and I'll do that for my laps. Now, at about 6.30, I'll finish my laps, start preparing myself for school. School begins at 7.30, so I'll shower, eat, whatever I have to do, and I'm ready for school. It's a full day, full day of school, and I'm totally dedicated to my students. So from 7.30 to 3, they are my focus. And um, during lunch break now, that's when I will typically go on the road to the food van, get my fruits, or go to the supermarket, or whatever errands I have to run. And at this time, this is when I am more, it's like I am focusing on getting some content. So when I'm out there on the road, when I'm in the taxi, or I'm at the food van, I'm talking to the, the, the vendor, or I'm walking, I'm listening, I'm eavesdropping on all these conversations, and it's very enjoyable for me because this is content. This is how I get fodder, whether for my books or for my channel, right? So I'll be walking and listening. In the supermarket aisle, and I'm listening. I'm in the taxi, I'm listening. I'm always observing. And I want to know what's going on in this person's head. You know, why is he doing this? Why is he saying this? That's how I learn about life. That's how I have managed to avoid a lot of situations that, you know, probably would have been detrimental. I learn from other people's mistakes. I try my best to learn from other people's mistakes so that I don't have to go that way. Right, so at three when school ends, this is when I'll do my afternoon meditation. And it takes, this meditation takes the longest. The other two might take half an hour. This one typically takes an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. And again, I'll put up my vision boards. There are more songs that I sing at this time. And I also have a scrapbook with other images and goals and, you know, stuff that I looked through as well. So after that, I'll go back to school for extra lessons. And that takes me down to five o'clock. Now at five o'clock, I just chill and I just relax, cool off, eat, just, just whatever I have to do, whatever else I have to do, whether more errands or just by this time, my children will be coming home and I'm feeding them, talking to them, seeing what I need to do for them. Uh, at about eight, meditation again. So you see I have three meditation as well as the affirmation while I'm doing my laps. So I always make sure my mind is flooded with positive energy. And this is very important. So at eight, I do my nightly meditation, vision board again, visualization, affirmation, singing, getting myself in that vibe to for dreamland because that's when the inspiration comes to sometimes you know so between 8 30 and whenever i go to bed i might go to bed 10 or 11 or 12 depending on what i'm doing and how involved i am and how tired i feel so between that time i might be listening to some more watching youtube videos I have different interests. I might be watching mathematics videos, philosophy, more of my beloved Sadhguru, political videos, anything. It could be anything at that time. And also, if I'm working on a novel, I would do some writing at that time as well. And then off I go to bed. 
Now, this routine is pretty, <clears throat> sorry, it's pretty regular, but it's not fixed in stone. You know, there, there is a lot of flexibility. If I wake up and I'm not in the mood to do any of the above, I give myself some slack. I'll just, I'll just chill. Um, but you know, we are creatures of habit. So we tend to get into the groove and just follow that groove. But we are also creatures of mood. And if I'm not in the mood, I won't force myself. I'll just skip. Skip meditation, skip laps, skip whatever, <laughs> you know, because um, I'm very gentle with myself when it comes to that, to my spiritual growth. And if, I, if I'm not feeling like it, I just don't. But pretty much that is a regular routine. And, um, you know, I'm able to accomplish all this, like I said, by multitasking. So while I'm doing all of this, my mind is on... <laughs> autopilot my mind is on drive right through so I'll be constantly making notes about stuff tons of notes because the inspiration comes when it wants to come you don't tell it when to come you have to just make yourself receptive and when it comes be ready be ready to write it down and uh, I have plans I make plans because well the our pledge at our at my school, the Kemet Masai Academy, our pledge is a poem, the first verse of a poem from Marcus Garvey. All life must be a useful plan that calls for daily serious work. The work that wrings the best from man. The work that cowards often shirk. And I firmly, firmly believe in that. So I'm always making a plan and trying to follow that plan. And I'm always jotting things down as I go along, as, it, as they come to me. Now, the schedule might change for maybe on weekends. It's not so rigid on school holidays, summer, you know, those kind of times. I'm more flexible. I'll just, because I have to make time at, for different things that come into my life at those those moments. Um, <clears throat> so, typically, how much sleep do I get? I get four hours sleep, five the maximum. My body, my mind, my spirit will not allow me to get any more out <laughs> of that toss and turn. I honestly don't know how a person sleep for eight hours. And some persons even more than that. How long do you sleep? Write in the comments. How long do you typically sleep? Don't lie. Just write and tell me what's your typical. If you could sleep for as long as you want, how long would be a good time for you to sleep? I know I can't. Unless, unless I'm really exhausted, like I really did something that day that, that uh, just made me really exhausted and, uh, you know, it was really hectic. If we go on a school outing and it was hectic or, you know, that kind of thing. Or if I have to go into town and back and do stuff like that. Then I might sleep for longer. But typically, four hours and I feel like I'm, I'm ready. Bring the day. Bring it to me. I'm ready for it, you know. Maybe because of so many years, it's just habit. As well as I'm just so driven. I have so much I want to accomplish and I'm just... I'm just always ready, 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 let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my typical day. Same 24 hours, but very stretched. I stretch them long way and, and with length and width. I stretch them and I cram as much into them, you know, as I can because I want to get as much out of this life. For the time that I'm here, I want to get as much out of this life and I want to explore all my passions and I am passionate about so many things and whatever I'm doing I put my all into it so I'm gonna use up all these hours that I get each day to the max this is how I do it I'll see you next time please like share subscribe take care